I'm Caroline. Um, I work here at the library and I'm in the programs team, so you might see me singing and reading children's books. Um, these are my recommendations. The book that made me cry and the book that I absolutely loved is this book, Lenny's Book of Everything. It made me laugh, it made me cry. I loved all the characters in it. In fact, it's probably got my tears in this copy of the book, if you ever read it from our library. I loved, loved, loved this book. Um, another book that made me cry is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell that I read recently. I loved that book, which is a historical account of um, the life of Shakespeare's son Hamlet or Hamnet. Um, couldn't recommend that one highly enough. Uh, so that's two that made me cry, but I cry quite easily in books. I like ones that make me cry. Probably, I think a good book is good if it makes me cry. Um, uh, I couldn't pick a favourite book at all, but Hamlet's one of my favourites that I've read this year. And the other one that I really enjoyed reading this year is, I have to check because I won't get it right, The Motion of the Body Through Space by Lionel Shriver. I really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> that certainly made me laugh. She's got a very biting sharp sense of humour um, so I'd recommend that one um, what else did I put down here or oh, I'm actually hmm, I wouldn't recommend the one I'm reading at the moment so one I can't wait to read is Sophie Laguna's new one Infinite Splendours so I'm going to pounce on that as soon as it comes out in our um, fresh summer reads because uh, I love the eye of the sheep and the choke her other two um, books so she's one of my favorite authors um, she all just well yeah she just touches me in the right spot she's beautiful heartwarming she's always got tragic characters so that's the one I can't wait to read um, the book that I didn't finish that had lots of hype that I really just couldn't sink my teeth into I just couldn't get a grip on the style was Milkman by um, Anna Burns. So I very rarely don't finish one. I normally keep on going and slogging through just to finish. I didn't finish that one. Um, I think that's it. Enjoy. Happy reading over the summer, everyone. Bye. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. One of my favourite picture books is The Suitcase. I've got to read this adults, children alike. It's so beautiful. Um, well, it sums it up on the back, really. A story full of heart, hope and kindness about how we treat those in need. It was so beautiful. Check it out. Beautiful story.